<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can soft mod an original Xbox console. And for this, we're going to need a few items to get started. Of course, we will need the original Xbox, but we're also going to be purchasing a few things because we will need some games and some other tools to get up and running. Uh, now, I'm going to be linking everything down below in the description, but the first thing you'll need to download, which this is free if you're already on here, is Softmod Installer Deluxe. Um, you can use either version 5.11 or 5.12. I just downloaded version 5.12 because that's the latest one I could find. And then we're going to need a few different things. Uh, for this method, at least, I'm not going to be using a memory unit. I'm going to be using a flash drive. Uh, now, this is good and bad. Good because it's convenient. Uh, the bad part of it is you need a older flash drive to do this. Um, so I'm going to have this linked down below in the description, which is the USB compatibility list. Uh, and this is not complete by any means, but you're going to see there's a lot of like 32 megabyte, 128 megabyte, uh, 2 gigabyte, uh, just really small flash drives. I would recommend if you can try and source like a one or two gigabyte flash drive and see if that will work. Um, the reason why you're going to need to do that is because if you use something that's really new or if you new use a USB 3 drive or something that's too big, uh, it's not going to work. I tried using a USB 2.0 16 gigabyte flash drive, didn't work. Tried using three like USB 3.0 flash drives, they didn't work. Uh, I even just purchased a four gigabyte USB 2.0 flash drive and that didn't work. But the ones that have worked for me have been a uh, micro or a uh, SD card, like a two gigabyte SD card, and I've been using a Sony branded uh, two gigabyte flash drive for years. Uh, so you're going to need one of those. And since you're going to need to hook up a flash drive to your Xbox, I would also recommend picking up a type of adapter, so a USB to Xbox adapter. Uh, this is the exact one I purchased, so I paid about $5 for it, but you can get them for a little bit less. Uh, you can get them on Amazon or you can get them on eBay. Uh, really, if you want it sooner, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more, like eight or $9. If you don't mind waiting a month or two, you might pay like $1.50 or $2. So the links for these will be in the description. Then you're also going to need an exploit game, and we can use three games. The first one being the most common and being which one we will use is Splinter Cell. Now, the nice thing about Splinter Cell is you can get any copy of Splinter Cell from what I understand. It could be an original copy, it could be a Platinum Hits version, but make sure it's the first Splinter Cell. Uh, when I'm saying that, like, don't pick up Pandora tomorrow. Pandora tomorrow is not going to do it. It has to be the original Splinter Cell. So just get a copy of that and it should work. Uh, if you don't want Splinter Cell or you don't have it in your collection, you could also use 007 Agent Under Fire. Make sure it is the original version. You cannot use the Platinum Hits edition from what I understand and Mech Assault is the third and final one we can use. Again, use the original edition, don't use the Platinum Hits version, and make sure it's the first game. So like this one, for example, this listing right here, well, I'm trying to find it on this. Mech Assault here, for example, I mean, this is a bit misleading. It's the original case, but Platinum Hits version of the game. This one will not work from what I understand. So if you want it simple and sweet, get a copy of Splinter Cell. If you can't get Splinter Cell, get Agent Under Fire or get Mech Assault, but make sure that it is the original version if you can get it. For Splinter Cell, doesn't matter. You can also get the Platinum Hits version. Now, once you get everything here, what we can do is take our uh, Xbox to USB adapter, plug it into our system, plug in our flash drive, and let's go over to our console and we're going to go through the process of formatting the drive. So once you're over at your Xbox, you want to go to memory, make sure you have your cable plugged in, and then plug in your flash drive. Now, mine has already been formatted, but this is what will happen. When you plug it in, uh, it should should, if you have not formatted, it will give you a message saying something like, this drive has been corrupted, um, it's been erased. So that's another thing for the flash drive you're using. Make sure that you back up any data that you need off it because it's going to be erased. But it will essentially give you an error message saying the drive didn't work correctly, we've erased it. And then when you come over here, you can verify that this is actually working. Now, as you can see, I have some of the files already on here. What I'm going to do just to start fresh is I'm going to come here erase it and hit yes and there we go it ended up erasing my drive which that is what we wanted uh, if you have a drive and this is a very easy way to check and see if you have a drive that is not compatible uh, what's going to happen is you're going to try and plug it in and if you do it with this one for example it will say, you know, uh, it isn't functioning, it may be damaged. That means that this drive does not work properly um, and is not compatible with the Xbox. You might also have another drive where this is the 4GB one I used. If I plug this one in right here, 
it keeps trying to initialize it and it doesn't do anything, it looks kind of like a crazy Xbox strobe light party. Uh, this also means that this drive is not compatible, but again, if you have a compatible drive after it's formatted, once you plug it in, it'll bring it up. And if you're confused on formatting, literally just plug in the drive. If it works, it will format. If it doesn't work, it will not work. So once you have your drive formatted, go over, take it out of your Xbox and plug it into your computer. And we're going to do the rest of the work there to get the files transferred over. So as soon as you plug in your drive, if you're using Windows, it's going to ask you if you want to format it. Hit cancel. We do not want to format this. Now you want to take your Softmon installer deluxe, right click, extract, it's going to give us all the files that we need right here. Uh, now, what you're going to look for is the installer and uh, FatX formatter. You can use this to format. I'm not going to because I use the Xbox, but you're going to need Explorer and you're going to need the installer and whatever save you're using for whatever game you're going to be playing. Um, so for this, I'm going to use the NTSC version of Splinter Cell. I'm just going to right click and extract it right here. And then you're going to need the installer. Uh, now, first off, I'll just break these down. Installer.zip, this is for if you have a memory unit. As you can see, it's pretty small, and uh, this is not what we're going to be using, uh, but this is just the basic soft mod install. Uh, then you have uh, Super soft mod install deluxe 5.11 for USB. This one's about 100 megabytes because this is for flash drives. And then you also have this one right here, 5.12 installer USB. This is again for flash drives. It's about 90 megabytes. I'm going to use 5.12 because this is the latest one, but I'm just going to right click extract this right here and we now have both of those folders uh, i'm also going to extract explorer 360. now if you want to you can uh, what i've done before is i've just copied over all of the game saves so what regardless of what game i have i can exploit it uh, but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to be doing splinter cell uh, now here's where it's going to get a little bit confusing and it might be um, a little bit annoying but trust me we'll get the files on there what i'm going to do is right click explorer 360 go to properties and since i'm on windows 10 um, I'm going to run this in Windows XP Service Mode 3. I'll go ahead and run it as administrator and hit OK just to avoid any issues there. And then when you double click it, it should come up in an older looking window like this. Um, now, here's what you can do, and I recommend you try this out first. First off, go to Drive, Open, Hard Drive or Memory Unit, and Partition Zero will pop up, and this is our flash drive. Now you want to right click and say Insert Folder. Find your soft mod installer deluxe folder, then find uh, this right here, uh, which this is our splinter cell save. Open up UData and the first folder with all the numbers and letter, we're going to click that and press OK. And it's now going to inject everything in here, but nothing's going to show up. So here's the thing, I recommend you try that first. And really, if you do that, that's really all you need to do. You could just right click, add the uh, folder for Splinter Cell or whatever your game save is, and then do the exact same thing with the other installer. And by that, I mean you would go in here, open up the installer, open up UData, pick this, and hit OK. However, this is not going to work for my setup here, and this seems to be an issue with Windows 10 just because newer OS, older, um, older program right here. So I'm going to press cancel and we're going to have to actually build out these folders by hand. So I'm going to show you all what to do. So first off, let's go ahead and do Splinter Cell. What we can do is open up Splinter Cell, open up UData, highlight this, copy it, right click, add a new folder. I'm just going to double click that folder, paste it in, and then open up both of these. And we're going to say insert file. Now for each of these, we're going to have to drop in each file individually. So there's two files right there. And now we're also going to need this folder. So for this folder, click it, copy, right click, add new folder, double click this. There we go. Go inside of this folder, go right here, right click, insert file. And we're going to have to drop in these three files individually. And now all those files are added. So that is for our splinter cell. Now we need to do the same thing with the installer. So I'm going to go into installer, U data, and the exact same process right here. We're going to come out to partition zero, add new folder, rename it. And then once you come here, you're going to have to be adding the exact same things. So you could just grab these two. And then go ahead, grab this folder, right click, create a new folder, call it all the zeros, 
double click inside of that and then you're going to have some fun adding these as well uh, so i'm going to speed up this process but you're going to add in all these files and all the folders individually again this is if you don't have that other option i've tried other things this is the only way i've gotten it to work um, aside from having another soft modded xbox or hard modded xbox on hand but this guide is assuming you do not have access to another modified system so just spend a few minutes transferring these files over All right, so at this point, I have now fully transferred over every single file piece by piece for both our um, installer and our save game. So at this point, what you can do is you can now go to drive, press close, go here, exit, and then safely eject your flash drive. Once that is ejected, pop it out, pop it into your Xbox, and we're going to boot it up without a disk in the drive. So the rest of this should be over on the console here. All right, with the flash drive inserted, go up, go to memory. When this loads up, go over to your flash drive, and it's going to bring up our Softmon Installer Deluxe. Mine is almost 6,000 blocks in size, and it's also going to bring up our Splinter Cell. So what I'm gonna do is go here, copy, and paste it over to the hard drive. Up here, you want to pick your save, copy, paste it to the hard drive, wait a few minutes for this to transfer over. All right, and now when that's completed, we can go ahead, press back. I'm going to unplug the cable and let's go over to our hard drive and double check what we have. If you come over here, you should have Softmon Installer Deluxe and you should also have the Splinter Cell file on here. So we can go ahead, go back, go back, now open up your disk drive and pop in Splinter Cell. I know we're now actually getting into the soft mod, but trust me, we've actually done the hard part at this point, getting those files downloaded and transferred over. At this point, it's pretty easy to do. So go ahead, put in your disk, wait a few seconds, and let's boot up our exploit game. So the process for each of these is going to vary a little bit, but in short, it's essentially loading up your game save. So what I'm going to do for Splinter Cell is I'm going to press A to start my game. I'm going to find Linux. This is the only game save I have on here. If you have multiple game saves, just find the one that is Linux and press A. Go to checkpoints, press A on that, and wait a few seconds for this. Now at this point, if you look over at your Xbox, it is going to be flashing crazy colors, and it's also going to bring up Softmon Installer Deluxe. Now at this point, we're going to start the actual process. So first off, go to Backup Restore Features and press Create EEPROM Backup, or EEPROM. We're going to say Backup EEPROM. Wait a few seconds for that, and it's now been backed up. So go back over to the main menu. We're also going to go back in here again, go to ms backup or create an ms backup now it's going to tell us that this is going to back up our c drive to e backup ms and uh, just make sure that this is the backup you want to make because i have never ever modded this xbox i do want to take a backup of it so i'm going to say yes and wait a few seconds for this to complete When it's done, press OK, and I'm not going to create a C drive backup right now at least, because uh, I don't really care about any of the other saves and all that. Um, if you want to, you totally can, um, but that's really up to you. We at least have our dashboard backed up and our EEPROM backed up, which are both pretty important. Now, next up here, I'm just going to install a single boot soft mod, so I'll go ahead, press A on this. I'm going to do a standard one. Um, you can pick really whatever you want to on here, uh, but for this, I'll just do standard regular because I'm using composite cables. If you're using HD cables, pick this, or or RGB you can pick this so I'll press a and then you can pick evolution X unleash X or XBMC everyone has their own favorites and their own variants that they want to install uh, my recommendation if you don't really know what you're doing you just want to get up and running unleash X will work out pretty well so I'm going to press a on here and it's going to say it will format and are you sure I'll say yes we're now going to check and see if we have a MS backup 
and we have all of our requirements passing, so we're going to continue the install. Now at this point it's going to ask us if we want to shut down. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it will turn off our Xbox. And now from this point go ahead and turn your Xbox back on, but I'm going to press the eject button to take out Splinter Cell. So now at this point I have taken out my Splinter Cell disc and booted my Xbox with the eject button. Just wait a few seconds for it to boot up and it's going to bring all this magic stuff up right here. And as you can see, we now have our Xbox soft modded. So that is all that we were looking for right here. So really at this point, if you press this, you can launch your DVD if you have anything in there. Any games that you install will be over here. Uh, emulators will go right there, of course, as well when you set that up. And then here, if you go into your applications, um, DVD X2, that's if you want to play DVDs on there without the uh, DVD remote. XBMC, of course, that's XBMC. Uh, video mode switcher, that's of course if you want to switch up your video modes between NTSC or PAL. And DVD to Xbox is what you would use to rip over your Xbox games to your hard drive if you want to do that. Now you can also go over to system here, and what I'm going to do is I would recommend you guys you know kind of check these out and stuff uh, but i'm going to go over to my settings go over to network and just change this over to dhcp and i currently have uh, my xbox hooked up to my network i did this right before we completed the soft mod uh, so there's going to be one more thing that i recommend you all do i'm going to save the changes right there and also if you ever need to reboot into your microsoft dashboard there's this option that is ms dashboard right here you can press a on this and it will boot you back to the stock dashboard now you might be wondering why would I want to do this? Well, this is particularly useful, let's say, if you ever want to enable your HD resolutions and stuff, you can go over to your settings and actually play around with the settings in here because there's a few things here that you can modify that you cannot modify on the soft modded side itself. Now for one of the last steps here, I'd recommend going over to System, go to Boot Soft Mod Menu. When this comes up, go to Backup Restore Features, Create EEPROM Backup and then back up your EEPROM, which we have done already, but then move back up to E. I'm gonna say it's going to copy it to E backup EEPROM, say yes, wait a little bit, and now go back over to your main menu and go down to restart your Xbox. Now keep your Xbox on, take note of that IP address down below in the bottom right, and we are going to go back over to our computer for the final step, and this just kind of to protect your Xbox in the future. Now what I've done is I have opened up FileZilla, which this is a FTP client, something that you should get a little bit familiar with when you're working with a original Xbox, and I'm going to FTP to my console. So for host, you need to put in your IP address, which mine is one. 192.168.1.136 and the username and password are both Xbox. You don't have to put a port number in, but if you do need to, just type in 21, hit connect, and it's now going to bring this up. So I'm going to go to the E drive, backup, and as you can see, we have our EEPROM, which this is our BIOS, disk, EEPROM, hard drive key, uh, just important stuff. This is what you need to know. If Even if you don't know anything about this, just back it up. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to transfer this to my computer. So pick somewhere safe. I'm just going to put it in my SID folder right here, which you probably shouldn't do, but I'm just doing this for video and backup sake at least. Just put it somewhere safe. Right click this and say download and wait a few seconds for this to finish up. Once that's completed, I'm going to disconnect, exit out of here. So now at this point, you can go ahead into your backup folder and you can see we have our EEPROM backup, which is our BIOS, our disk, uh, EEPROM, and hard drive key. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's just it's important stuff for our Xbox in case it ever bricks on us. But anyways, that is it. So congratulations, if you have followed this, you have been able to take your retail Xbox and turn it into a soft modded system. Have a little bit of have a little bit of fun with it now. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would very much be appreciated, and if you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well, too.